Hi, and welcome to a new series called July Drawing Prompts. I'm starting a new prompt list. After Mermaid, I was um, had a long break, and now I'm back into the prompt lists because I really enjoy them. And the first prompt is Boat. It's Doodle a Day in July by Elo Loving. So I'll get into it by starting out with some thumbnail sketching. I did some of the thumbnail sketching outside yesterday. It's always nice to paint and draw outside. I highly recommend it to any artists that have the opportunity to. I try to do it as much as I can. I really liked the second thumbnail and explored that one a bit more and ended up choosing it, but I wanted to continue sketching out some ideas just to make sure I gave myself some different options. I loved these two ideas, but I felt that they would benefit more from a digital artist creating them instead of someone at my level in traditional art. So I'm just adding in a clownfish. Yeah, I've got a photo of it as a reference. Uh, I have this image of this really pretty life under the sea with just two legs dangling in the water. It looked absolutely terrifying. So there's a little clownfish looking at the little feet dangling in the water. Got a green tea. This is a 0.3 millimeter Faber Castell TK Fine lead pencil. So that's the clownfish added. Just adding a catfish. I wanted it to feel like this huge giant catfish swimming past, but it looks just like it's closer to the camera, so it didn't really work out, but we can pretend. That one is supposed to be a spotted plico, but now that I look it up, it doesn't exactly look like it. I'm just going to put some masking tape around the edges, not the full width of the tape, just so I don't lose too much paper. And add some masking fluid to cover the white dots on the plico. The brand name is Vallejo, V-A-L-L-E-J-O. The little clownfish is coloured with yellow ochre, lemon yellow and burnt sienna. The giant catfish was a random amount of each of Prussian blue, viridian green and lamp black. The skin tone is cadmium red pale, burnt sienna and Chinese white. The only thing that sort of bugs me about this piece is that piece of seaweed in the front. I just don't think it fits with the rest of the painting. Though I think it's very important to be proud and like your own work, I also think you need to be aware that there are things that you can improve on and change for your next painting.
I gave the bottom half of the painting a very light wash of Prussian blue. And then dried that layer off and gave it another wash of Prussian blue, a little bit darker this time. With lamp black paint, I went around and added some darker lines here and there. A very simple way I do clouds is put my wash down and then dab across with a tissue. Ah, my favourite part is adding all the little white spots and reflections with the white pens. I'm using a Posca pen and a Uniball Sino pen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!